The first one is beauty related. I got these little packets of gemstones. Each of them was $2.85 Canadian. And let me just give you guys a little close up. So these little gemstones, I got them because I have like a gel nail kit at home and I just thought it would be really nice to like decorate my, my nails with these little rhinestones. So that's why I bought them and then they're both a little bit different. One of them has more of like a rainbow look to it, which is this one right here. And then this one is just like a silver fleck. The quality of them look pretty good. They look very, very shiny and I'm really excited to use it. The second thing is this cable holder and there was two of them inside. All it does is it holds your wires in place. So there's tape in the back and you just like peel off this tape and then you can stick it on your desk. And I just really wanted something like this because I did buy one off of Shein once and it sucked. Like it was terrible. It didn't even stick on properly. But this one feels really sturdy. The quality's great. This is where I decided to place my wires because usually I'll have like multiple ones and then they're always on the floor and I'm always like, ugh, trying to like grab it. But then this just makes it super easy and sturdy for me to easily connect my devices without making this whole area look messy. This one is also a pretty weird order, but I got a ombre wig. It came in this box right here. When I opened it, I was kind of like, ew, this box is kind of dirty. I kind of see like there's like stains on here. So, I mean, I'm glad they're reusing boxes, but it's just a little bit gross. And then this is the wig. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. I've actually never put on a wig before, so I have no idea how this is gonna look like. This wig cost $285. This is a very expensive item. And I normally would never buy a wig, but since they gave me like wish money to just spend, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try a wig because I really love ombre looks, but I've dyed my hair this light before and it just it just gets damaged way too quickly. It also comes with a wig cap. There's two pieces in here. And then it also comes with this hairbrush for your wig. It just feels very, very lightweight. It's actually really good to hold, like the shape of it. Oh, hmm. I actually really like this hairbrush. Nice. Okay, so I've never put on a wig before, so please don't Judge me if I'm not doing this right. <laughs> and then on the ponytail, you're just supposed to like tuck it under there. And just tuck it all. Wow, this like wig cap is actually really, really stretchy. So it's got this ombre look. It has this mesh material on it and I know you're supposed to like cut it. Oh my god, I literally don't know how to wear this. It is a medium, it doesn't really like fit my head perfectly. <laughs> it looks better on my head because it's um, like a you would slightly pull it like this. Okay guys, this is how the wig is looking like right now and it's terrible. I either don't know how to put on a wig at all because it looks so big right now and I think part of it is because I just naturally have really thick hair. So it's really hard to like hide the thickness of my hair under here and it just looks kind of ridiculous color also doesn't suit me it just looks really brassy and like this hairline area it's just so flat here like it's just very very weird like the parting and everything is just weird i'm gonna have to do some research into like fixing it okay guys so i tried it curling it and still looks whack so yeah i don't recommend this wig it was not worth the cost um, I probably just don't know how to wear it. That's why. That's kind of fun though. I mean, it kind of changes up my look. Huh. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the back. Um, this is how it looks like from the side. I don't know if you can tell it's a wig. And that's it. And the last product I am showing you guys is a 200 mini projector. So I've always wanted a mini projector because 
I don't know, it just sounds like a dream to project your movie onto the ceiling and just lay in bed and watch movies like that. It was $62 Canadian. This is how it looks like. And you can see these are all the different types of ports it has in the back. And I usually just plug in my computer, so I usually just use that one. Mini remote control, how cute is this? And then of course you plug this in. So let me just show you guys how it works. Okay, so you can see it's starting now. It also has this little notch on the bottom, which is really useful because if you have a tripod, all you have to do is screw this on and then you can get it to stand. Turn it on. So right now it looks really blurry. You use this dial right here and then you can adjust the quality of it until it's clear. Change it to input. There is my computer screen. So this is how it looks like when I put on like a cartoon. I had to make a lot of adjustments to the brightness setting, which you can do it here, you go to picture mode. I like to turn down the sharpness because I don't want to see all the little pixels. I think it looks better for cartoons than it does for like real people shows. When I project it on to the ceiling. All right, that's it for my wish review. Um, just to talk about the logistics, I got the wig first and then everything else came as a second package. I think it was like three weeks later. Overall, Wish, I think it's not my favorite website for purchasing stuff, but I think you can find some really good and cheap um, deals on there. It's just, you have to keep in mind, it takes a while to get to you. So just make sure you read the reviews. Not every single product is gonna be great. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.